Hello everyone, this is Ami Eccles Zerwin from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the Assistant Director of the Portland Comedy Film Festival. Right now we're gearing up for our Fall 2023 screening, which is going to take place on October 15th at the beautiful historic Clinton Street Theater. Uh, and today I'm talking with one of our participating filmmakers. Catherine McCarthy is the writer and director behind Exhausted Woman. Uh, Catherine, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. So this is a really incredible film and there's kind of a lot to unpack here, but uh, just to get started, what inspired you to make this film? Um, well, Exhausted Woman, I made as a message to myself as a filmmaker. Um, there is so much humor and simultaneously challenge that comes with trying to embrace being an artist as an adult and, um, I just wanted to remind myself to keep going. Okay, totally. Well, I love that. And uh, I really want to talk a little bit about um, your central character, Riley, and her best friend, because that chemistry is so strong and it's so interesting. And I was really stunned by the writing, especially when it comes to scenes, uh, maybe that final scene, for example, where they're talking and the friend kind of retorts in a way that you wouldn't expect. And uh, I'm just curious how you kind of develop those characters and how you got that chemistry so authentic. Thank you. Those are such nice compliments. I didn't expect you to have watched the movie, even, oh, though, yes. you're, <laughs> even though you're interviewing me. Um, I, I, well, the main character is my actual real life sister. Okay. Um, and so uh, in the movie, they that is actually like the first time these two actors had met in person and uh they both they both just brought so much to the table and i think in in their confidence they were able to like bring something out of each other um that was fresh and new and it was really cool to see i'm actually making another project with them upcoming oh excellent yeah very cool. Well, and, you know, I'm kind of curious to uh, a little bit about your thoughts on the humor in this film, because it's not a it's not it's not filled with jokes and gags, really. Uh, mm -hmm. There's there's situational comedy. But I found myself laughing most from a sort of uh, like an empathetic, nervous laughter You know, in that party <laughs> scene between Riley and then the scientist. It's just, you know, so weird and you just kind of <laughs> nervously to protect yourself. But I'm curious what your kind of thought on, you know, this being somewhat of a comedy what what your thought on that is yeah i i find that life is full of absurdity and humor um and i think that's part of my comedic style i try to not play to humor in a way that seems really staged i really want it to come naturally because there are so many moments in a day where i myself feel like I have to keep myself from laughing just at the absurdity <laughs> of even a challenging situation. Totally. To me, it's funny how humor can arise from many different emotions. Totally. Well, I think that's a good lens to have. And I feel like we have maybe a bit of that moral uh, center in the friend, uh, Riley's friend in this movie, who responds to a lot of the devastating stuff Riley says by just kind of breaking out laughing, uh, you know, holding a joint and and retorting in a way that's, that's you know, oddly sophisticated and, and guides her. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, what is the onset process like uh, for this? You know, obviously your your two leads had a lot of natural chemistry and they're very talented actors, but uh, what, what was the onset stuff like? I am extremely fortunate. I pulled this movie together with close friends and family and literally taught them how to operate microphones, how to hold a light in place. <laughs> um, this was a real grassroots effort. And um, I'm incredibly grateful to the people that took unpaid time out of their weekend to get together and do this. And I think part of what made it worth it for them was the atmosphere on set. It was just so fun and it was so welcoming. I think everybody, I noticed actually, because I'm running around like trying to make sure everything is set. But oh. I noticed that even when they're not working, everyone's talking, having a good time. And 
feeling really appreciated for what they bring to the table, because I think that's so important when people are working for you to appreciate them and make them feel seen as well, even though they're behind the camera. Right. Well, that sounds great. And uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect that this is a lot of first time, uh, you know, production staff, because I feel like you achieve a really polished look. But it's nice to hear that the the behind the camera stuff was, uh, you know, amicable and fun. Sometimes you hear uh, the most nightmarish things about the most fun movies. So it's nice to hear fun begot fun. <laughs> um, well, I kind of want to know, what did you uh, take away from this process? What did you learn? What kind of new insights do you have on writing and directing? Um, yeah, I learned to really be more vulnerable, um, with friends and family without my vulnerability and my asking for help. I don't think that this movie could have happened. And, um, actually I'm about to launch my crowdfunding campaign tomorrow for my next short film. And it's something I'm very foreign to is asking for help and asking for money to actually be able to compensate people for the hard work that they do. And so through Exhausted Woman, I think I really got the confidence to be able to say, if I'm going to do this, then I need to do it right. And yeah. Totally. Well, that's great advice and very actionable and something that the independent filmmakers need to hear. And I feel like oftentimes uh, people are hesitant to take that first step to make a bigger production just because they don't want to ask for help. And uh, yeah, it's a scary band-aid to rip off, but it's super important. Uh, tell me a little bit about this next project you're working on. Yeah, um, it's called With Her Own Hands. It's a short coming of age story about an adolescent young woman who moves to the South and starts school and starts challenging her school's abstinence only sex education. Mm -hmm. um, she's really trying to empower herself and the women around her. That sounds very cool. And you're going to have your uh, two leads uh, coming back. Yes. And actually this time it's going to be swapped. So the main is going to be McKenna Quigley Harrington and the supporting will be Lauren Megan. Okay, okay. cool. And uh, so what, what part are you at right now in the uh, production process? We are fully in pre-production, fully um, doing all of the storyboarding and planning for locations just hoping that the funding comes through. <laughs> and if not, we always figure it out. So. Okay. Excellent. Well, yeah. I really, I really love the chemistry between these two leads. And I thought if this doesn't become a series, I at least need, want to see them uh, again in some kind of a film. So I'm very excited to hear that you're working on uh, something with them. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about exhausted woman? Uh, just thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to show my work. It is so rare to be able to see your work the way you always hoped it would be presented, which is on a big screen. We all fall in love with movies at a young age by going to the theater and feeling that community experience. So without festivals like Portland Comedy, there just wouldn't be the opportunity for especially new filmmakers to be able to show their work and be respected for the work that they do. Absolutely. No, I, I love that, you know, uh, the theater is kind of the magical place where you are fully transformed. And I think people are really going to love this on October 15th at the Clint Street Theater. I know for sure uh, people are going to be talking about this one uh, after the festival. And I'm very excited to put it on. So thank you so much, Catherine, for talking with me. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing much more from you. Thank you. I really appreciate this opportunity. Take care. All right.